Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? We're discussing how etymology and witchcraft and politics and how it all ties in together with our history. And, uh, well, we're just learning as we go, aren't we? So is a Q political or biblical? I mean, is 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 uh, Q doing nothing more than just trying to keep everybody in politics? So let's talk a little bit about America's history and politics. We were discussing our presidents, George Washington and uh, 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 what was it, uh, Thomas Jefferson. Now, in our American Revolution, right, we were fighting the English. Benjamin Franklin was an important part of our American history. He was not a president or he wasn't part of the political system, but he was over in France borrowing money to be shipped back to America so that we had enough food and ammunition and army supplies to be able to fight the English. Our history is, you know, we were a new country and we were just starting off. You know, we've been here 100 or 200 years or so. But, you know, it was still a a growing thing. So, you know, to have our own army and to be, you know, funded, it could have been very hard to have a cash flow to fight off your uh, oppressors, even though they were all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. So, as the story goes, the American Revolution happened, correct? And George Washington crossed the Delaware with the money that Benjamin Franklin was able to acquire from France in Paris. He hung out there the whole time during the war. And when George Washington crossed the Delaware, walked up on Christmas morning and invaded York, was it Yorktown, the fort, York fort, and the English gave up, right? That was the end of the war. And all wars have a declaration of ending the war. It's how it works, right? If there is a war between two nations, there will be a, and when the war ends, there will be a piece of paper that's signed by both sides declaring the end of the war, a victor and a a non-victor. Correct? I mean, that's how these things work. And with um, the American Revolution, when George Washington defeated the English army, and we won our independence, we have do have an official piece of paper, you know, uh, separating us from England. Now, that's not the Declaration of Independence. That was signed before the war's end. That was signed before the war started. That's what started the war. The men... These men put their lives on the line by writing the Declaration of Independence and say, we're going to war against England to defend these rights. Now, once the war was over, there had to be the other piece of paper declaring victory and defeat. There has to be a piece of paper recognizing the end of the war. And while Benjamin Franklin was in France... That's exactly what he uh, did. He And it's called the P, uh, Paris Peace Treaty, I believe. The Paris Treaty. The Paris Treaty? Which, again, is an amazing kind of a word for America's independence from England to have France and Paris's name in it. But that's how our story is. So Benjamin Franklin was able to get, and he was the English representative, and the English representative 
to gather in Paris to sign the peace treaty to end the war between America and England. Correct? That's how our story and history is. Maybe a little bit off, but that's pretty much the gist of Benjamin Franklin. I mean, the, the man has a huge history of all kinds of things within America's history, but that's how the American Revolutionary War ended and the documentation showing that the war ended is called the Paris Treaty, I believe, again, I believe. And it was signed by Benjamin Franklin and others in Paris showing and declaring America's independence from England. There's our history lesson. Now let's look at Benjamin Franklin's name. If we look at Benjamin Franklin's name, and I'm not saying that these witches do this kind of stuff. I'm just saying that witchcraft is an English language. It's a new language. It's being used to brainwash the masses. We use these words. Witches use words to cast spells. And we use words to talk. And we use words and that we really might not know the full meaning of them. How can you hide stuff in plain sight? You tell them a story. History. We just did the history. His story. Now let's take a look at Benjamin Franklin's name and mirror this. And if we mirror this, we can see that it is N-I-L-K-N-A-R-F. Nilkenorf. Franklin is Nilkenorf. And if we, I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm just saying that it could be done this way. I'm just saying it, it could be done if Satan had enough time on this earth to be able to deceive people with witchcraft spells. Maybe he would give people and power his story. I don't know. Let's look at his name. Nil. We know that is no. If we look in the dictionary, nil, nil, zero. Nothing, no. Those are the definitions in the dictionary for nil. If you had nil in your bank, how much money do you have? Nil. No. None. Zero. Okay? And now, if we go ahead and look at the next two letters, I'm just saying it could be done this way. N or K-N. No. K-N. K-N is not. Let's just look at that real quick. If we look in the dictionary, the abbreviation of K-N, the abbreviation is not. And not could be like no, not, yes, no, not. But it also could be not like a tied, a bond, you know, a bond. Just saying. So, so far, no, not. Like no bond, maybe. A-R. What is A-R stand for? If we go in the dictionary and look at... We look at AR right down here. AR has an abbreviation that says account receivable or acknowledgement of receipt. Acknowledgement of receipt. Acknowledgement of receipt. So if we look at Benjamin Franklin's name, we can see that it could just say, no, not, bond, knowledge of receipt. And a receipt is a proof of transaction. A receipt is a purchase or when something happens, it is a receipt of the transaction. So far, we have no bond of receipt, of accepting receipt. And what happens if we look at F in the dictionary? Which is really weird because there's so many definitions that they've done. They sporadically, but the 50th one is French. So Benjamin Franklin's name could be read in, if we wanted to, no bond of re 